right, Andrew. Not only do they have to make that walk, their mother tells me, they then board a bus and take the hour-long drive here to Obama Academy just to be able to attend this school. She says they make the sacrifice to be part of the school's baccalaureate program. But she says this schedule change is now compromising her children's education and safety. So they have to get up early in the morning and navigate hazardous routes at like really early times in the morning. Maria Searcy says her children now have to leave their north side home at 5.20 a.m. under darkness, making their way down city steps into neighborhoods Searcy considers unsafe just to get to their bus stop. The girls ride a pat bus to Obama Academy in East Liberty. Their school is one of seven city schools forced to start 25 minutes earlier at 7.11 because of the Liberty Bridge closure. Officials say the adjustment is to accommodate school buses. So that we can uh, allow buses extra time to pick up and drop off, hopefully before uh, any of the traffic starts. But for Searcy, whose children live far from campus and have no access to school buses, this change is an added hardship. It jeopardizes their grades, it jeopardizes their achievement, their attendance. Searcy says she sends her high school daughters across the city to Obama for a better education and she says they have already been making sacrifices to do so. My children's day begins at 5 a.m. and it ends about 10.30 because they're in a very rigorous international baccalaureate program at Obama School. A program that requires extra work, extra classes and activities that is now beginning 25 minutes earlier, adding more stress and Cersei fears impacting their grades and their safety. Officials with Pittsburgh Public Schools say once the Liberty Bridge reopens, class times will return to normal, and we will certainly let you know when that is. There are seven schools affected by this change. To find out which schools are affected, you can log on to our WTAE mobile app. Reporting live in East Liberty, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.